All right, welcome back, my dear student. In this lecture, we are going to be fixing a bug in our cloning feature. All right. So, what is this bug? Well, as you can see, something doesn't look right here. Right? It doesn't look right. Well, this row right here is missing some data, and because it's missing some data, it's missing a, a row, a column. It's shifted to the left, so it's missing the user, the data from the user column. It's not missing the column, it's, music, uh, it's missing the data that's supposed to be right here for the user. All right, and that's because I try to clone one of these guys like this. You're going to see we're going to have a second post, 143, and we have the same problem. We don't have a user. So where is this coming from? Well, let me show you. If we go to view all post, right? We got the cloning feature right here, the cloning code. We're not pulling the user out of the database to be to insert it back in the post. All right, we're not pulling it. So right after this, the solution is pulling that data from there, and let's call it post user. All right. So that would be the user of the admin, not the author, which is the guy, the people from outside admin, right? So post user, and then all we got to do is make sure that it's right after post author right here. Put a comma so you don't get an error, and do the same thing here. Just copy this guy right here, put the comma, and modify this. Instead of saying post author, we make a post user like this. Save it. Let's go back to it. Enter here. Let's try to, to delete this two right here. And let's try to cloning a couple more. Now everything is good. All right. So now in the future, if you have some problems with this sh table shifting, know that you're missing some data somewhere. And what you need to do is you could create a an if statement right here, and you could say something like, let's say for some reason the post tags are empty, right? We can say something like this: if empty, and let's just say post tags right here like this alright so if they empty what can we do if they empty well we can grab post tags and do something with it right we can grab it and insert some type of generic code or something like that like this alright or we can say uh, no tags or something like that. whatever you want doesn't matter but I'm just saying you can do something like that Right, or you can put this variable in a loop or something or inside an array and then you can loop through it all right separating the key and the value and putting back the value with the key all right hopefully some of you know what I'm talking about by now you should know that but anyway that's a little bit more advanced I don't want to confuse you but some of you already know what I'm talking about so let's say for example I try cloning this let's go back to the here this is in the cloning section okay so let's say I'm cloning this guy right here and the tags are empty, right? Let's just clone this guy real quick. Let's see what happens. Apply and you can see that it says no tags. All right, that's pretty cool stuff, right? So just in case you want some type of code in your empty spaces or you don't want your column, your table to shift to one side, all right? Because you need some data there most of the time. All right. So anyway, hopefully this was uh, a good lecture for you to understand some of the, these things. And I'll see you in the next bug. All right. Let's have some fun fixing the bugs. And remember, this course is mostly to teach you how to do all this stuff that we learned in the beginning. Okay. So that's why I created this project to teach you all this stuff. You, there is a lot of things that we can use uh, to, you know, make this project a little, a lot better, or even a lot with a lot more features. But you know, I use this to teach you more and more stuff all the time. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next lecture.